I'm Ted Moncure. I'm the Director of Engineering for TMG. TMG brands are ProComp, Poison Spider, G2 Gear and Axle, Smittyville, and Rubicon Express. Today we're here to show you our EAV, which is our electric adventure vehicle. It's a, a Jeep JK that we built and retrofitted with an electric motor and a lithium ion, actually a NMC, which is a nickel manganese cobalt battery pack. It's the most advanced type of battery pack. It's an AC motor, very similar to a Tesla. It's got 200 foot-pounds of torque, which doesn't sound like much, but at 1250 RPM. So, uh, you know, it basically gives you instant torque right off idle for crawling. Uh, as an example, a Jeep 3-liter engine, this has twice as much torque at 1200 RPM, which is your crawling speed, as that gas engine. It also has a top speed around 60 miles an hour. Uh, it'll go 150 miles with this extended battery pack on the, on the highway. And uh, since it's an electric vehicle, I think we should be able to drive it in the carpool lane. Um, and then it'll, it'll hit the trails for up to four days of wheeling. Uh, this is actually the battery pack. So this conversion eliminates the engine, the transmission, keeps the transfer case and the drive axles and the drive shafts uh, just like you would on your regular trail rig. Uh, but the motor now has a, a motor with its own internal gearbox that connects up directly up to the transfer case. The battery pack sits on top of the motor, and so it all fits and it all weighs about the same as your gas engine uh, that your Jeep came with originally, so your handling characteristics are about the same, uh, except that you have a whole bunch more bottom end torque. The back of the vehicle, we've removed the rear seat and we've added another battery pack in order to get the kind of range we want for like a four-day Rubicon trip but you don't necessarily have to do that. If you're the kind of person who, who uh, you know, basically goes out for one or two day trips, then you could just go with the single battery pack. Uh, the other thing you see here are uh, shock reservoirs. This has our ProComp billet long arm kit with uh, internal bypass or external bypass and coilover shocks. You can see we've got a, a two inch coilover shock with a dual rate uh, external reservoir. And then we've got a, a two inch uh, external bypass shock this comes directly from desert racing. You know, I've been racing in Baja for about 20 years, and desert racing technology has now come to king of the hammers and you know, the more advanced rock crawling. So uh, we developed this system with uh, billet, billet long arm suspension. And you can see the arms if you come around here to the side. The front's a three link. It's actually a four link, but it's a, a triangulated three link with a panhard rod, which is a fourth link. The back's a four link, which is really a five link. So the way people talk about suspension gets a little bit confusing, but essentially it's a four link setup. It gives you a lot of articulation. So we've got about 14 inches of wheel travel in the rear and about 12 inches of wheel travel in the front uh, on this particular setup that we have right now. Uh, it's got a 40 inch ProComp XMT2 tire on a 17 inch beadlock wheel. So this thing is really set up to go do all the trails in King of the Hammers. It'll do Rubicon. You could even take it to Baja and go bombing around down some fire roads and some washes. Although I have a feeling your battery life would go down if you're running through silt beds. Um, but I'm excited about it. And we could go and race it in Baja. You know, I think it'd be a fun thing to do. Be the first uh, green vehicle to finish a Baja 1000. Uh, maybe swap out battery packs at the pits or something like that. It's also got a lot of poison spider parts on it, like our half doors, our armor, our rockers, fender flares, our fenders. Um, so this is definitely set up for hardcore wheeling. Um, it'll basically go anywhere you want to go. In the rear, you can see once again, we've got our coilover bypass solution. And then we've got our Core 44 G2 axles. So these uh, have our, our uh, G2 air locker, which is a new locker that we've developed. Uh, it has a G2 compressor on board. Um, you can see the billet control arms, front and rear, uh, bumper, the tire carrier, all the, all the goodies, the trail corners, Basically, you've got all the, uh, all the products we make all put together on one vehicle that's environmentally friendly, puts out zero emissions. Uh, it's you know, trail approved, and like I said, I think it should be clean air approved and because uh, it puts out zero emissions. So I personally would like to uh, drive it in the carpool lane and see what people think when they see a Jeep on 40s rolling by yourself in the uh, HOV lane. Hey guys, Ken here. Make sure to check out all of our other videos. There's over 150,000 attendees here. We're going to see the coolest cars, trucks, Jeeps, customs of SEMA 2016. So be sure to subscribe.